A Moment in Wine with Fred Tregaskis, underwritten by Summit Wine Cellars, located in Ridgefield, Connecticut, 203-916-1664. You'll find them on the web, summit-cellars.com. Hi, welcome to A Moment in Wine. This is Fred Tregaskis, where we're tasting wines from around the world. Today, we're going to Tuscany. We're going to the southern part of Tuscany. We're going to uh, Di Gimano, um, where we're going to be tasting uh, the Palaghetto uh, Vernaccia de uh, Giamano. Uh, and this is a wonderful, just delicious white wine that we're tasting because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous spring day today. Uh, and I thought it was time more refreshing and bright and to celebrate the coming of spring. Uh, now, Vernaccia is found all over Italy. And if we were to roughly translate it, it means vernacular, or in other words, the local wine. And so Vernaccia is completely different depending on the location from what is grown and the wine grapes are uh, are produced. So, but by far, uh, the Vernaccia from Diagimano is considered the superior uh, Vernaccia in Italy. And uh, we're going to pour some in here in the glass and find out why that's considered so. And uh, right away, uh, as I'm pouring into the glass, it's just wonderful aromas of honey and almond, uh, very herbaceous, uh, big nose on this. And it's just a nice light straw color. Um, let's put a little bit here to our lips. and Oh, it's a nice kind of uh, dried apricots and peaches in the in the front of the, uh, the palate as it goes uh, deeper into my mouth. I'm tasting more nuts like almonds or hazelnuts, a little dried apricot, definitely that dried apricot near the finish. Mm. And a, just a nice, soft, not too hard citrus acidity, like a lemon curd thing happening uh, near the end to balance out the overall fruitiness. But just a lovely white wine. Um, I'm going to take a second sip here. This is so, so tasty. Mm. And it's pretty medium body. It's not a light, light body like I thought it might be. This is, um, again, this, the uh, Vernaccia de, um, de Giamano. And a wonderful, wonderful floral, bright kind of way that I'm, that I'm enjoying the heck out of. Um, what would I match this with? Without a doubt, I'm thinking I was in Cape Cod this uh, weekend on business and treated myself to some uh, a big plate of oysters. I think this wine would just the fattiness um, of the body and this clean acidity of the finish would be the perfect accompaniment to a big plate of raw oysters. Uh, so. Uh, for spring, uh, I'm highly recommending the uh, uh, Palagero's uh, Vernaccia di San Giamano. 